In this TFT video I will demonstrate the power of the new top meta at the moment which is Ox Force and Spells Lingers with Grand Challenge Fiora Augment. Check the statistics of this build. These comps have a winning percentage of over 50% to get top 3 positions easily, and the majority of those top ranked players using this comp globally around 10% of players using this comp on a daily basis. Burning Spirit Augment are the best for this type of Ox Force and Spells Linger comp. Let's have a look at Ox Force and Spells Linger's traits. Spells Linger's fire a magic orb at a random target every 5 seconds, which bursts for 50% ability power as magic damage. Ox Force units gain bonus defenses. When their health drops below 1 during combat, they become immune to damage for 1 second and their health is set to 1. Let's talk about main champion power in this comp. When Fiora moves at her opponent, her duelist's soul is activated for 8 seconds and she takes damage to any opponents impacted. Sona fires 2 beams that deal magic damage to the closest enemies and heals the lowest health allies. Okay, let's get into the video about how I reached top positions by using this comp. In early game, since I had 3 underground trait champions and was looking for higher rewards from the loot, I chose to play with 3 underground with 2 duelists. And I started with the grand challenge hero augment. I gained a Fiora. Fiora attacks on the same champion for every 4 attacks. She heals for 9% of her maximum health and deals magic damage equal to 20% of it. In the middle of the game, I used 3 underground, 2 Aegis, 2 OX Force and 2 duelist trait champions. Why I am going for Ox Force Champions means since I already have a Grand Challenge Fiora Augment and this comp hasn't been used in my lobby, those are the reasons I chose Ox Force and Spells Linger Champions. I chose the second Augment as Pandora's Items. You will get a random component and also this Augment makes the items on your bench randomized at the start of each round, excluding Force of Nature, Spatula, and Consumables. I chose this Augment because I require the best items for my major champions. I then kept on winning, that also helped me to boost our economy. In the end game, the golden ticket was my third and final augment. Each time your shop is refreshed, you have a 50% chance to gain a free refresh. This augment helps to quickly maximize our champions. After that, I leveled up so I could get my rewards for the fifth heist in underground traits. Completing that, I will swap out the underground champions for the Ox Force and Spell Slinger champions. Items used in this game. I gave blue buff, archangel's staff, and the jeweled gauntlet to Sona. For Fiora I used Bramble Vest, Warmog's armor and Absolution or Redemption. For Vigo I used Ionic Spark, jeweled gauntlet, and Titan's Resolve. For Twisted Fate I used Ginsu's Rageblade, Hextech Gunblade, and Zonia's Paradox. Zonia's Paradox is not the best item for this champion, but I didn't have anything better, so I used it or we can use Static Shiv or Gant Slayer as well. Just give the remaining surplus items to other champions. Fortunately, I managed to acquire 3 star Sona, 3 star Fiora and also 3 star Annie at the end of the game, which helped me to climb the leaderboard. I swiftly moved to the top rankings. Watch the last round. This comp is working very well. Use this comp in your future games and comment down how it works. Thanks for watching this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel Item Swap.